da 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 George Brown downtown. I, oh gosh, oh, sorry guys. Hey everybody, it is Adam Lawrence coming to you live from our St. James campus. We're actually in our athletic center right now. Uh, we're starting up at the top of our main building uh, and I wanna welcome you guys. I always love showing off uh, our cool views. There's one right now, that's my colleague Liz Enriquez. Uh, but where we started today, uh, the athletic center is a really nice view of the city. Um, and if you're like me who doesn't like working out, uh, it is a great chance for you to kind of forget what you're doing when you're running on a treadmill. Uh, but I want to welcome everybody here today uh, to the tour. Uh, I know it's not ideal circumstances, but out of an abundance of caution, of course, uh, George Brown College, uh, we're closed to the public right now, but we figured this would be a really good way to show you guys around because uh, we do have an amazing space. And once this is all done, uh, we are going to uh, to be open and welcoming and ready uh, to have all of you folk here. So we're going to do a, a kind of an amended tour today. So I just ask you to bear with me because we will be walking through some hallways, but I promise that I'll try to uh, I'll try to pepper it with some lively commentary for you so that you don't get bored. Um, but uh, St. James campus is considered our largest campus. It is uh, one of our three main campus, and I say largest by volume of students. We had probably like something like 16,000 students uh, when we were here on this campus. Uh, I'm sorry, when, when I'm reading the, the, the chats as we go. Uh, when we are open and up for students, about 16,000, you know, give or take, new and returning, uh, but a pretty big campus made up of about seven different buildings. We're probably only going to see two of those buildings today. Uh, the main building that we're in right now, uh, the A building, where the majority of our services are. Uh, and then we'll walk over to the culinary building just so you can see maybe some of the labs and things like that. Uh, again, not everything's open, uh, but we'll see what we can see on the tour. So we're going to start right now with our athletic center that we have here. So we saw this a little bit here. There's Liz again. Um, and uh, the athletic center, we have one at our St. James campus. Everybody wave, oh, wave to Joey. Oh, he's hiding over in the corner there. Um, hey, Joey. Uh, I have my entourage here who's uh, supporting the tours today. Um, so you guys will have access to this gym as a student. Uh, it's a really nice space. Uh, you'll just sort of need to fill out a form that says, as far as I know, I'm healthy to use the equipment. And then off you go. Um, so it's a, it's a great space uh, to be able to use on campus because you will have breaks in between classes and things like that. So why not come for a come for a workout sort of thing? Um, it's all included in your tuition. Um, and so, like I say, the only thing that you'll have to do is fill out that form in order to be able to use that stuff. But uh, but it's a really really helpful service to be able to have because who doesn't love working out? I don't. <laughs> but you should. There's change rooms here. There are lockers, day lockers for you guys to be able to use. Uh, there's the open access gym space as well. Unfortunately, it's closed and dark right now, so we can't really see it. But the big open gym that you're able to use, you're able to pop on in. Um, if you wanted to meet with a group in the corner and, you know, your dance team, because um, like, all of us have dance teams, right? Uh, or if you wanted to uh, maybe set up a badminton net or a volleyball net, uh, you can do stuff like that too. Um, play basketball if you wanted to. So feel free to uh, to use that uh, as part of your tuition. Now, so the, I actually forgot to mention in uh, the beginning of this, uh, in the instructions, you would have seen that uh, we do have live chat going through this. If you do have your own sort of account, um, uh, Google uh, or uh, YouTube account, um, the only thing is, is that uh, we're trying to keep the chat uh, open for people if they have questions. But uh, if, uh, if you just want to say how handsome I am, I really appreciate it, but I'm going to ask you guys to save that stuff for uh, for the end, okay? My buddy uh, and colleague James is uh, is helping me. He's online having chats, guys. Um, I'm telling Liz to be quiet so you guys can all hear me. Um, uh, James is there to help you guys. If you do have any questions, he can answer chat in real time. Um, but uh, but other than that, just sit back and enjoy. So we just came down the stairs. We uh, we have a lot. We have stairs all over the campus for you guys to be able to enjoy. Um, there's elevators here too for you to use. So feel free. Uh, but we're on the fifth floor right now. Fifth floor is an important spot uh, for a few reasons. Uh, number one, our Indigenous Student Service Center is here for St. James Campus. So if you identify as being part of First Nations, you're more than welcome to go and use that uh, that space, or even not. It's open to everybody. Um, but it is here. Our preparatory studies, faculty office, so if you're taking pre-health, pre-business, uh, that kind of stuff would all be here as well uh, on the fifth floor. The main spot that I'm going to talk to you guys about today is our uh, counseling and uh, student well-being area. 
So now this is a small but mighty office here um, for counseling uh, and uh, student well-being. It's also uh, our spot on campus uh, that has our accessibility uh, learning services at it. So while we walk and talk, I'm going to uh, mention a little bit about that stuff. So the accessible learning services uh, is basically like disability services. It's open to anyone who identifies as having any sort of disability. Uh, so uh, they do require pretty specific medical documentation, uh, but if you guys, um, if you don't have that uh, to access the services, still start the conversation with them because they'll be able to uh, at least get you uh, the paperwork started sort of thing, help you sort of navigate that system. It's really, really, uh, it's really important. Could be accommodations, like more time to do tests. Could be something like maybe a peer note taker because uh, you have troubles uh, paying attention uh, while you're taking notes in class. So think about that stuff because the services are here to help you. And that's again up on the fifth floor, but my advice is always uh, start online. Uh, georgemail.ca is a wealth of knowledge. We're really trying to make it, you know, even that much more usable for you guys um, so that you can find all that information. So check out there first uh, or go to georgebound.ca uh, slash uh, accessible learning services uh, or accessibility and you should be able to find that stuff uh, there to help you. So we have just came down to come down to the fourth floor here and I'm not going to take you uh, on too many... Uh, Okay, I think I'm back on now. Uh, there we go. So we are outside of the Tutoring and Learning Center. Um, that was perfect. Uh, I was going to show you guys a meter on one of the uh, the water refill stations, but it wasn't working. So uh, not to worry. But um, uh, those meters tell you how many uh, water bottles you're saving from going into the landfill. So that's pretty cool. So Tutoring and Learning Center here at, uh, at St. James Campus or at any of our campuses is an important space for you guys to be able to use. Uh, if you are like me, I got a 54 in grade 11 math and I never look back. So uh, if you needed support when you got into a program uh, like uh, tutoring for math or tutoring for English uh, or even things like accounting and things like that, uh, Tutoring and Learning Center uh, would have students there who would be able to help you with those types of services. Uh, so it's a little bit more formal than a drop-in because you would be scheduling time with them. Um, but it is, uh, it's a really cool um, thing to have, uh, the opportunity. Um, now. Uh, so somebody's asking, I can see Ray, could you get a locker near the gym? So you may have seen lockers upstairs uh, in the gym space um, and uh, lockers uh, up there are all day use. So you wouldn't be able to get one in the gym uh, per se, uh, but there are lockers on most floors. So you can either go onto StuView, uh, which would list out all the names uh, or all the spaces that we have for locker. Um, lockers, uh, and you can choose it on there if you wanted to, uh, or you could uh, uh, go to your uh, welcome center. Now, um, I wanted to uh, also point out lockers are $15 for rent. So thank you for bringing this up because I should have mentioned it when we were up at uh, the gym space. But lockers uh, throughout the school are $15 to rent for a full semester. So pretty reasonable in the grand scheme of fees you guys are going to pay, but uh, there is still a charge for it. And again, you can do that through StuView or you can do that here uh, in the Student Service Center. So uh, we're stopping here in front of the school. Oh, that's not some very good lighting. There we go. School for Community Services, Deaf and Deaf Blind Studies. Uh, it is a faculty office here. We're only going to stop at this faculty office because I want to talk to you guys a little bit about these spaces. They're really, really um, helpful because this is where your teachers are gonna be. Uh, so I say to students, remember, every class should be treated like a job interview, right? And I mean, you don't have to go in and be nervous, but you wanna show up. You want to be cool. Um, all of those things, because most of your faculty are either working part-time, which means that they're still working in industry, or uh, you will uh, be working with a full-time teacher who probably has a huge Rolodex of contacts that you guys are gonna be able to use. And so you wanna make sure that uh, you're, you know, treating them with respect. Um, being respectful to, to your classes and uh, you never know because a lot of students do get recommended uh, for jobs by their teachers so uh, something they are much look we've seen some of those floors here uh, and that's certainly in the main building now this door is going to lock on me because uh, we are trying to limit access into the building right from our main entrances but I'm going to stand here and show you guys because you can probably tell I just came outside that's da 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 
Uh, it's really nice to be able to get outside, uh, especially if you're here all day because you've got all day classes. Uh, and we're really lucky to be able to have this space in the middle of downtown Toronto for you guys to be able to use. I don't know if you can read the yellow signs that are just right there, but what they say is that they've also been able to turn this into the chef's edible garden. And what that is, is for our students who are uh, in culinary programs, uh, they're going from, you know, they're learning about that farm to table movement. Uh, and while this isn't necessarily a farm, it's a great opportunity uh, with the uh, planter boxes that we have here to throw out the nice weather, plant food, and then they can use it in their culinary classes. Uh, so, you know, we're always trying to think about stuff like that. And it's a bit challenging in downtown Toronto to be able to do that stuff because we don't have a lot of farmland down here. But here we have big open space, so why not use it for that? Uh, we also will do a a lot of events out here. We will do uh, career fairs, um, student fairs, uh, we will do service fairs, uh, have barbecues, uh, do flag raisings. Thing. Oh. Okay, I think we're back on. I apologize for that, guys. Uh, just some technical difficulties here. Um, but hopefully you guys are able to hear me and see me now. Uh, so uh, the uh, uh, admission or assessment center is here for you to either do an assessment center, uh, assessment tests for your admissions, um, if you needed to uh, test for your math or your English, for instance, um, or for when you're starting classes, uh, you'll probably have to do a placement test. Placement tests are to decide whether or not you go into um, the... Uh, 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 college level math, I'm sorry, or uh, the uh, college level English class. So think about that. Um, if it says that you have to come for a placement test, now you know if you're at St. James where you got to go. That's the second floor in the main building here. So we're going to do a quick walk around of the uh, student uh, student association space. We have our own little tuck shop here, or convenience store here. Uh, here is the SA. So at St. James Campus, we call this the King's Lounge. Um, and uh, you'll see this space here. Uh, some of the food options are closed, unfortunately, because again, we don't have students here. But uh, they're still doing what they do the best. Um, they have TVs up in here, there's tables, there's spaces for you guys to hang out, uh, to have a good time. Uh, and again, Student Association is here as your student advocates. Um, you're going to want to make sure you know what uh, you have, uh, you're entitled to through the Student Association because uh, you do pay fees in them and you always want to get a you know, bang for your buck sort of thing. So they will offer things like your King's Lounge space there for you to be able to use. They'll offer things like um, they have a food bank here. So you find yourself a little strapped for cash. They call it Student Nutrition Assistance Program now. Um, and so if you find yourself a little strapped for cash, which we all do, uh, when I was first starting school, who knew to budget for groceries and stuff like that? I was always like, mom's going to feed me. Um, but if you find yourself a little strapped for cash, you need some food, you can pop in there and you can get uh, some great food. Uh, no, no questions asked, all confidential sort of thing. Uh, so please feel free to do that if you need to. Uh, they have a safe walk program here on campus. So if you're coming to school, you're a bit nervous about being downtown for the first time, uh, you can come to the safe walk area. Uh, and there's, it's Safe Walk is students who are here on campus to help take you guys, uh, uh, if you're here after hours, uh, walk you to your car, walk you to the closest uh, subway station, things like that. So we are at the Library Learning Commons. Uh, and so the, we're on the main floor now for the building. And uh, I'm going to quiet down so that I'm not loud. But Library Learning Commons here, Liz is walking ahead to, to announce us to welcome us here. Uh, and so Library Learning Commons uh, has things like open access computers. It's your library, right? Uh, your print shop would be here as well. You've got books uh, and whatnot over here for you guys to be able to use. Um, and your library really is your one-stop shop for any of the work that you guys got to do outside of class. So it's important to know that this space is space is here for you because there is a lot of work that you're going to have to do outside of class and so we want you to have all the things that you need so we have online databases for you guys to use there's just something like 80 to 100 different online databases uh, there's equipment you can take out of there so not just um, you know the books you can borrow laptops and macbooks and ipads uh, there is quite study space for you guys to be able to enjoy if you wanted to as well so some really uh, some really great stuff to make your time here uh, usable because uh, like I said before you may not have class uh, every single minute of every single in fact, I can guarantee that. So in those breaks, if you want to do some great work, you have spaces to be able to do that in. So we're going to move from borrowing books to buying books. And we're going to take a look inside of the bookstore. There's Liz waving. Da, 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 da. Liz, since you're here on camera, why don't you share with what uh, folks from, uh, can get from the bookstore? So hey, everybody. Uh, depending on what program you're in, you're going to be given a list of either textbooks that you need to purchase or in the case of the chef school, certain equipment and uniforms. So all that is available through the campus bookstore. 
you can come in person or you can actually order stuff online and they'll ship it to you if you want to pay the shipping fees. So this one, because it's at the St. James campus, will sell a lot of the things that our culinary students, including housewares. And let me tell you, it's not just for the students. We have people from the neighborhood who'll come in and buy some house stuff here because they know that we're using good quality equipment. I mean, did you know that they have to even wear prop the name of your program on it so you can represent? And there's just a, a, a lot of helpful staff available to assist you. When it comes to textbooks, please avoid buying anything until you get an official list of what you'll need because sometimes over the summer break, the professors may update a book because there's a new edition or maybe they've moved to an online format because sometimes you will see in our um, social media pages, you'll see second year students saying, you know, first years, you can buy my books really cheap. So I always warn students, don't buy anything until you know that you're actually gonna need it. You don't officially need to buy anything until the first day of class. All right. Thank you very, very much, Liz. Okay, I'm back now. Uh, you're stuck with my with my gorgeous face again. Uh, I appreciate that she gave me a chance to, uh, to swallow. Because oh. uh, talking so much, you get, and walking. Not, not something that I'm very skilled at. <laughs> so we're going to head on downstairs now. Uh, down into the basement, uh, we were doing a St. J um, Castelloma campus tour uh, before. Um, and I said, you know, we try to maximize space. So we're heading down to student service, registration, financial aid, uh, lots of other stuff. Our cafeteria is down here as well. Uh, so we're going to follow Liz. Oops, let's turn the camera the right way uh, into our student service area over here. So we've got Peer Connect, which is here. Peer Connect is a student run center uh, that offers a lot of different services. And this, like I said, student run. So these are the experts. These are other students who are helping you with uh, nutrition, stress management, um, uh, a lot of stuff to do with getting your um, online presence on, uh, up for, for business stuff, uh, helping you cover uh, with your cover letter and uh, uh, making sure your LinkedIn is up to date. Um, we also have, uh, of course, our, uh, chef, um, our cafeteria here. So cafeteria is a really uh, great space for you. Of course, we need to eat, we need to feed the demons sort of thing. And so there's uh, Tim Hortons here. There's some other food options for you as well. Of course, uh, unfortunately, because uh, we're working on um, uh, coronavirus uh, sort of staff levels today. Um, a lot of this stuff is closed, uh, but we don't have any students here, so we don't need to keep it open. Uh, and we're always trying to make sure that we can uh, be, um, find cost savings where we can because I hate to put that on into tuition, right? Um, so we're now coming over here to, uh, we are in front of Student Life. Uh, student Life Office is what I call the heart of the campus. They're the folks who will run things like uh, your orientation. Orientation is a really important time. It is uh, your uh, week before classes start. It's for you guys to be able to get uh, get acquainted with the college, meet your teachers, meet your uh, program coordinators and all that great stuff. Uh, so you're gonna wanna make sure you look for that, uh, some of the correspondence from the college. Uh, next, we're in front of the Career Center. Career Center is uh, really here for students to be able to use to help you guys be the most professional that you can be. So they will help you with things like, you can see computers over here that you're able to use uh, for job searches, there's job boards. Uh, they'll also do workshops for you, things like uh, how to make sure uh, your cover letter and resume is built and looking good, how to uh, do well in interviews, like mock interview sessions, things like that. So there's lots of services that they have and you have access to them while you're a registered student here. And then again, when you graduate from a program, you'll also be able to, uh, to use them. Uh, as a registered alumni, you'll be able to use them as well then. So lots of really cool stuff. Hi. Uh, and our last stop here is our uh, information and student services desk. Uh, so this is where you come. It's kind of like the behind the scenes paperworky spot. They will help you with really anything from registration to admission programs, money, financial aid, really important. There's lots of, we call it free money, uh, scholarships, bursaries, grants, things like that. Um, talk to you or, or email financial aid. We do a really cool uh, financial aid workshop as well too. I think the next one is coming up at the end of the month. Um, so uh, my colleague Liz, who's here with me today, she runs that and she's awesome. Um, so if you wanna join us for that, if you go to the info sessions page uh, on georgebrown.ca, you'll be able to register for that one uh, to get the link and everything to join us. So okie dokie. So our last stop over here is going to be our lobby here at St. James Campus. Uh, it is for you to come in and feel welcome and comfortable and all that great stuff. Um, and oh yeah, and hand sanitizing, always very important. <laughs> Wave my love. Um, so welcome desk, uh, welcome desk, one of my favorite spots on campus. Uh, those folk you see back there are students. Um, they are here to help you, to welcome you, uh, make sure that, uh, that you're feeling safe and comfortable. If you need help finding a room, um, if you're a little bit nervous, 
nervous because you don't know where to go as most people are uh, when they start sending you, you can always come to the welcome desk and chit chat with them because they're all wonderful. And like you say, they are students, they're involved, they're really excited to be here. A lot of these students too, um, who will go through these programs uh, are um, students who have uh, students who have been here, um, uh, who have gone into our student. So, I'm sorry, um, somebody's messaging me. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, uh, they are students who got through our student leadership program. Student leadership program uh, or academy uh, is for students, basically a volunteer program, but that gives you a chance to uh, get out there and do some stuff um, and then go to a retreat. Uh, so you volunteer basically to pay your way and then you go to a retreat, three day, uh, all expenses paid retreat out in Bolton uh, where they work on nothing but uh, soft skill development with you guys. Uh, soft skills, people skills, uh, communication, things like that. Uh, and those folks often who are working our front line are from that group uh, who have gone to that because we know how awesome they are, just like her. <laughs> okay, uh, so now what we're going to do, we are going to um, head on out to, uh, we're going to go outside, we're going to go for a little bit of a walk out uh, to our culinary school, because I see that people are, are asking for the wine room. Okay, we're going to see the wine room. Um, so... Uh, we're going to see that we are walking along King Street, so our main building's address is 200 King Street East, uh, and uh, that's where all of those great stuff, those great things we just saw are. But I want to take you guys to our culinary school. You'll see across the street there is our chef's house. Uh, it's a restaurant from our culinary students that is at the corner of King and Frederick here. Uh, so we're going to continue on up to our uh, CHCA building. Um, and I'm sorry, if you see me pause, uh, that's only because uh, it looks like we're having some streaming issues. Uh, but I'm trying to keep going for you guys. Uh, so we're going up to 300 Adelaide Street, which is right up there. You guys can see that. Uh, 300 Adelaide is uh, our CHCA, or Center for Hospitality and Culinary Arts. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look in there just because they have lab spaces and things like that. And I think it's really, really important for you guys to be able to get a good idea of what labs look like, because that's something that college does really, really well uh, is uh, is labs, right? You, it's it's not all about just the, uh, the, the take notes about it. It's actually about doing the stuff that you're learning. Uh, and so we want to make sure that you guys have opportunities to work in really great labs like that. Now, because... Uh, this is on camera. <laughs> I'm not going to jaywalk. Um, so Liz, my, my partner in crime, has been kind enough to press the button. Uh, there is there is light. It is a really long light. So I might just keep... Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, wait. Liz is doing a tap dance up the stairs. Thank you. I'm trying to keep it fun and lively here. Uh, so we are in the Center for Hospitality and Culinary Arts. It's a really cool uh, GBCCHC site right there. Very, very proud of the work they do here. Uh, um, you know, our culinary schools is certainly one of the top in Canada. Go over here, so we're gonna go get one of those. Uh, and I think I'm buffering, so we're gonna just wait a quick second. Sorry, guys. I'm here, uh, just give us a quick second. I'm getting a note that I am buffering. Um, so um, so we're gonna continue looking at this space here. Uh, so this is our advanced lab and you can see all the great stuff that student uh, will have access to. They can come on in here, uh, use all the equipment and whatnot. And so you'll see students when they are here, they're actually bouncing around in there using uh, all of their stuff, um, all of the equipment that they bought uh, at the, um, the bookstore. So I know Liz was uh, showing you guys like knife kits, um, and stuff like that, things that we call materials. And so those are things that you would need for a class. Now, one of my favorite spots that we have here is, and if you can see into it, is our wine lab. People have been asking for wine labs. Uh, and so hopefully you guys can see there, I'll try to block out so delay. Basically, it's a big, wonderful space where you get to taste a lot of delicious wines. Uh, of course, uh, under, the, under the air of, of learning, always. Uh, you guys will be uh, be able to do that uh, in that space there. So uh, this is one of the things that I was talking about, about having lab spaces, is that it's really important to get the see and then the do. And so uh, we want to make sure that you guys are able to have those opportunities as well. One of my other favorite spots is 
Right here, our oh, mixology my, lab. This is my dream home. This is Liz's dream home. And you can see, so mixology is also a really important part. So students in our food and beverage program may be in this classroom here, and they would get a chance to burst your bubble. All of these are filled with colored water. Um, but it gives you a chance to know what it would be like to actually work behind a fully stocked bar. Uh, and you will get a chance to make actual cocktails in here, uh, but for the most part, you're gonna be practicing. Uh, uh, with these, uh, with the with the cheap stuff, quote unquote, um, to be able to uh, to do the stuff that you need to do uh, when you learn, uh, so that uh, it isn't costing a fortune uh, if you screw up, sort of thing, because uh, alcohol can be expensive, spirits can be expensive. Um, so, uh, so uh, these are some another one of the great labs that we have here at the college. Now, uh, I'm going to show you as well to our chef on the run. So Chef on the Run is uh, our retail outlet. So students who are in our um, uh, culinary classes, here's another one of our culinary labs. Um, yeah, the culinary classes, uh, they have large quantity kitchens, so you can see us through the windows, waveless. Um, uh, the culinary classes will uh, have large quantity kitchen class, uh, where you guys will be making your own, uh, like, banquet amounts of food kind of thing. Um, and so, uh, if, you, uh, if you are in that class and the food, uh, we don't want it to go to waste, it'll end up coming down here to Chef on the Run and it'll get sold as a, uh, in the retail outlet space. So, uh, people from the community, staff, students, uh, people who live around here, all will be able to come and enjoy delicious food products all for really re really reasonable price um, and uh, made with the discerning eye of our chef students so um, you can see here's another one of our lab spaces that we have this is one of our culinary labs you could see uh, uh, you'll see up at the front here there's a stove can we see that oh um, so there's a stove in that uh, you can see the stoves that the students would be working on uh, so again some really, really uh, great spaces for you to be able to do the work that you need to do uh, for class. Because as a chef, you don't want to get out of here and be like, oh, okay, I've learned, uh, I've learned about all the recipes, but I've never had a chance to actually make anything. Uh, not here, you're going to be cooking almost every day. So really, really uh, cool spaces. And all of our campuses will have spaces like this in it. Uh, so, you know what, with that, I think we're going to end the tour here today. Uh, we've, uh, we've had a lot of opportunity to talk about the spaces uh, on campus that will keep you successful, so our services and things like that. Um, and then I also wanted to show you, like here, a little bit of our classroom spaces that we have. So when you guys are coming to the college, a couple things to keep in mind. Of course, next steps, if you've applied and you've gotten in, great. Uh, welcome, we're, we're hoping you're gonna accept us. Um, if you haven't heard from back from us yet, but you have applied, please try to be patient, um, especially right now with all the COVID-19 stuff and because out of an abundance of caution, um, we're, uh, we're really trying to be um, smart about, about having things open here today. Uh, and in general. Um, uh, what else do you need to know? Uh, after uh, you get your offer, so we're going to assume you've gotten an offer, if you go on to georgebrand.ca, uh, you go through Ontario Colleges, rather, excuse me, uh, you're going to want to accept your offer. Uh, usually that happens beginning of May. Uh, after that, you would pay your $500 non-refundable deposit uh, to hold your seat, uh, and the college will send you lots of information about that, but usually it happens mid-June. After that, you register for your classes, and then uh, come the end of August, you would be coming to your orientation. We talked a little bit about that before. And then you start school the very next day, uh, sorry, the very next Tuesday uh, after Labor Day, if you're starting September, that's when we always start. Uh, and you would, uh, you know, uh, become a master in your industry, take over the world, make a bajillion dollars, and then remember uh, this guy here. So please, 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 um, uh, if you have any questions, I see people have been active in chat, and that's awesome. Uh, that's the whole point of doing these live tours. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I know we've been having some problems with buffering in that, uh, so, uh, at least on my end, so I hope uh, it hasn't ruined um, much of the experience for you guys. Uh, but uh, please feel free if tours at georgebrand.ca, T-O-U-R-S at georgebrand.ca. That's where you guys can go. And uh, I will answer emails from there. Um, as well too, if you go into georgebrand.ca under any of your program areas, you'll be able to find uh, your faculty office, uh, the contacts for your faculty offices, and they should be able to help you there as well. So um, stay healthy, stay safe. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see you down here at the college. And please, um, I, somebody had been asking about residence tours. Uh, we'll probably, uh, depending on what happens, we're gonna hopefully in the next couple of weeks be offering uh, some live tours like this of the residence. Uh, but um, my, uh, my advice is I think they have a virtual tour on there. So if you can go see a virtual tour on the George residence, go for it. 
All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Like I say, stay healthy. Uh, and again, any questions, georgebrown.ca. And thank you to my buddy James, who's been doing a chat. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. And excuse my finger, because I'm just turning us off here.